The reason why you're getting low views on your TikTok videos might be because you're not posting at the most optimal times, and not the way you think about. There is no specific list of best times. In this video, I'll tell you all about it and my CSA strategy in order for you to grow and make money faster. Okay, so first we'll cover real quick two things. First of all, why does it even matter what time you post? I believe these two things are essential and I suggest you watching this part of the video, but if you want, you can skip to my CSA strategy, but I don't recommend it. So why does what time you post matter? That's what I was thinking about when starting out as well. But first of all, in order to grow my audience, I was posting so many videos, about 10 videos per day and one video every 30 minutes to an hour. I didn't have anyone telling me what time I should be posting, so I figured out everything by myself and created the strategy I'll talk to you about. As I grew, I saw when the videos were performing the best and I just repeated the process. And it's so important because the more people get to watch and engage with your content in the first time hour or sometimes the first two hours, the more likely it is for the algorithm to push your content to more people. And eventually that snowballs until you go viral. Also that's why so many creators repost their videos after one hour if they see that the video isn't performing as well as the others. But if you're gonna try these cheesy strategies, then I would recommend creating one video with three different hooks and uploading all three at the same time. After one two hours you see which one performs the best and you keep that one video and the rest go private. If you want to know more about hooks, you can either watch this video after you watch this one, or you can download my 80 plus free hooks with explanations and tips and much more. It's completely free, no upsells, nothing like that. You'll find it in the description with more valuable links and products. The next thing we'll cover real quick is how many times you should post. You might be thinking about it, especially after I said I was posting 10 times per day. I would say don't go over 8 times per day. But there are some questions I have to ask you. Do your videos take long to come up with the idea, write a script, film and edit, then you should create one per day. Are your videos easier to make but still provide valuable information or entertainment that's relatable? Then try creating at least three videos per day and in this category you can go up to eight. And then we have the simpler stuff. Do you have a job, other responsibilities so you have less time? Then you should focus on creating one but really good video. But if you have a bigger audience already, then I would suggest posting up to three times per day. So now let's go to the strategy. So the strategy you've been waiting for. I call it the CSA strategy. Country, sleep schedule and analytics. These are the three keys to figure out which are the best times to post and obviously grow faster because of the reasons we talked about. So let's break them down. First of all, country. What I mean by that is where is your audience from? Or where is the audience you want to target from? Maybe you live in Europe and you want to target the US. This is actually my case. So what I did, and you should as well, I picked a time zone in the US, New York for example, and you can either convert the time zone to your own time zone with a simple Google search or you can add a second clock to your phone. That way you can see the local time and the time of the country you're targeting, which is a huge lifesaver. The second one, sleep schedule. The title might sound weird. The first question is what is your target audience? And I mean their demographics. What is their age, gender, are they married, maybe they have a job? And the next question is what time is your audience awake and would probably be scrolling on TikTok. For example, if your target audience is younger, like teenagers for example, it is highly likely that there are a lot of teenagers who would be scrolling on TikTok at 1am on Friday for example. Or if they're older, what time do they come back from university or work? What time do they have a break at work? Or what time do they go to lunch? These are all times where they could be on their phone and scrolling on TikTok. Take into consideration all of this. And the last one is analytics. Everything we've mentioned so far might be the general rules, but this part is the most important by far. When it comes to social media, research is one of the most important things and I've been preaching that for years. A simple Google search won't change your growth and won't help you as much, or probably not at all. And of course, the more followers you have, the more important the analytics become. For me, the best time to post might be at 6 p.m. For you, it might be at 12 a.m. But after you look into your analytics, I would suggest uploading one hour before your peak time. This way, as the video reaches the peak time, it might get a sudden increase in views and help it go viral. And in that one hour, you might reach a few more new viewers compared to if you would post at your peak time. And of course, the second video should be uploaded on your peak time. This way, you reach your own audience and it's more likely to then 
reach newer audience after it goes viral. And if you're uploading a third one, I would suggest uploading a bit after your peak time. This way you have more opportunities to reach new viewers. And one secret tip is that you should upload at random times, sometimes. For example, I uploaded once at a completely random time, which was 2 a.m. for me and I've never uploaded that late. And even though my account wasn't getting that many views at that period, that specific video blew up and after that video I was uploading more and more at that specific hour. Because that's the magic of TikTok, you never know what will happen. That's my strategy and if you need to ask me anything, you can shoot me a DM on Instagram and I upload more videos over there. Can't wait to talk to you. Now that you've watched this video, make sure you watch this video next, where you can steal my 3 step strategy to grow on TikTok. And it's not what you might think. See you over there.